I am honored and humbled to be designated a woman of influence. It is necessary to acknowledge the work of the passionate people and organizations who have in the past and are working today to have a mental health and primary health system which is equitable to all. There are so many people doing great advocacy work and educational work. Many thanks to all of you. For all of you who have been affected by mental illness, I see you. In all likelihood, we have had similar feelings and experiences. In the beginning of my journey 20 years ago, when both my children became ill, we were scared and didn't know who to trust. Mental illness struck our family full force in the face. It was a turning point for our family. No more assuming everyone had good health. No more assurance of what the future would bring. In the beginning, you are in a state of shock, feel completely overwhelmed and isolated, and you lose your center of gravity. Little did we know we were to embark on a roller coaster together through changing diagnoses, different medications, the heartbreaking loss of friends and family who turned away, limited information and empathy on how to navigate the culture of mental health care, given up by an educational system which lost prized pupils. As a parent, you wonder where things went wrong. Why did this happen to my kids? How can I fix it? How can I help them to get better? How can I protect them from a world that may not appreciate them as human beings and will too often be cruel, uncaring, and sarcastic? Will there be other people who will still embrace them and love them and not blame them for their illness? And who's going to tell me what to do next? When I began to approach legislators at the Capitol, I was hesitant and worried they would not care. It was encouraging when some of them said, you've got to bring more people to us. There are too few people drawing attention to this issue. And through, their, through the years, their wish was granted. The projects I chose to work on, the organizations I chose to join, and the responsibilities I undertook were motivated by the struggles of my children and the many individuals and families in the same predicament. How can we comfort them? Where are the resources they need? How can our system be reshaped to meet their needs? I have no regrets volunteering my time to move the status of mental illness forward. Has there been a change of attitude towards mental health since 1999 when my kids developed their illness? Absolutely. Have there been improvements to the mental health system? Absolutely. Do we have more to accomplish? A resounding yes. Who can be satisfied with facts like these? Iowa is 45th in the nation for mental health workforce availability. A stunning lack of mental health parity exists. Reimbursements to mental health providers is consistently less than primary health providers. This makes recruitment and retention extremely difficult. 60% of adults with mental illness and more than half of youth with severe emotional disorder do not get services in a given year. There has never been an adequate nor a sustainable funding strategy for the adult and children's mental health system. Six times as many people die by suicide in Iowa annually than by homicide. Iowa's suicide rate has increased by 36% since 1999 for both youth and adults. We have criminalized mental, mental illness let me say it another way. We have criminalized a medical illness. It would never be tolerated if we treated people with cancer or diabetes or any other medical illness the, way, the same way we treat those with mental illness. So the journey continues. We need to keep asking the hard questions and not be complacent in our demands. In conclusion, please know that you are not alone the illness is not your fault, and most importantly, never give up hope. Some days will be better than others. Believe your lives will be better. Reach out for help. Be a proud member of your community. I have been inspired by my children's courage. Today, my children are living lives of happiness 
and managing their illnesses. We have been blessed. Please respect the courage of all who are affected by mental illness. Thanks again for the tremendous honor you have bestowed upon me.